I'm a unicorn. Sorry, mom, if you see this. Ah, too. Anyway, so um, <laughs> that was my quick intro of my packer. Um, I got it, I got it from Trans Wear maybe like three plus years ago when I moved out on my own. And I was a bachelor again, and I just I'd wanted one for a while, and the living situation I was in, I just didn't feel comfortable ordering it, and it was different dynamics. So I got one. I purchased three different um, packing shorts with it. So I got two packing boxers and then like packing speedos. So I thought I was going to be running off to the beach and wearing speedos and a packer and not really thinking about like I still have to bind. <laughs> I guess whatever. I haven't been to the water I guess since around then. Well maybe half a year after that. But I don't really go out and play in the water so in my head that was a great idea. Um, the packer cost me about 15, 20, 25 bucks. Um, it's the Sailor one, not the Mr. Limpy. I had to look it up again. I don't pack on a daily basis. I packed more pre tea than um, having been on tea. And I think a lot of it's psychological for me. My dysphoria is mostly related to my, um, my chest. Because I just feel that it's the primary way for someone to check your secondary sex, blah, blah, blah. It's see if to figure out in their head if you're like male or female or your gender, you know. Um, so packing helped me feel better and confident pre-tea. Now that I have been on tea, it's, the growth is different with it and how it rests on me and uh, like, I'm just a sweatier person, I'm a lot more clammy, I'm a server, I ride my bike, I walk, you know all these things if I were born, you know, uh, genetically male, if I were born XY, not XX, that this is something I have to deal with, but the testes, they just get on my nerves, and I'll show it one more time, sorry mom, like the balls are pretty realistic, and I got a very small packer, my hands are very tiny. Mind you. So this is my little piece. And then, like, there's an O-ring for the SDP because I got the wrong boxer, so there's that one. That one, I just, like, free ball it, just put it in my my boxers. And then the Speedo one, well, I haven't even tried that for a couple of years. It's, it's just not going to happen. Um, I want to get STP, and I'll figure that out, but I don't have that kind of money if... It's gonna, I feel like it's going to be trial and error the same way it was with my binders. Like I had to try so many different binder companies and sizes and styles to actually find one that works for me. Um, so I'm not really excited to deal with that. But I have been using, um, I've been prescribed uh, T-Compound. So I use that for my bottom growth and I apply that daily. And it's made a difference. So, okay. Um, talk to you guys later. Let me know if you have any questions. Or if y'all can give me any pointers on STPs I should be looking out for in the market, I know there it's kind of there are some sketchy people that post products and that they're F to M and it's their new company and it's not even a real thing. And it sucks that that happens in our community that people rip off other people that are also trans, but so that's why I would only go to a few websites and money. Okay, bye. See you later.